Greetings in the name of the Lord. I pray that the peace of God that surpasses all understanding would always be in your hearts. You know, let me just encourage you today uh, by reading the verse that God gave me this morning in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Let me just read Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Many of us already know this verse, you know, and throughout the years we've been quoting, and, and some of you have been, pre you, you preach uh, through this verse. But let me just remind each and every one of us by the wonderful promise of God. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 8, it says here, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not rely on your own understanding. In all your ways know Him, and He will make your paths straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. This will be healing for your body and strengthening for your bones. You know, in times like this, it's really hard not to worry. It's really hard not to fear because all of these things are new to us. All of these things, we're all shocked what, with what happened, you know. But these are the moments that this verse would come alive into our hearts, that we would fully trust God in everything. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart, not just a portion of your heart, but with all of your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. I think that's the, the most important part because most of us would say that I'm trusting God right now. I'm surrendering to God right now. But the question is, are you leaning onto your own understanding or, or are you trusting God with all of your heart? Because the problem is when we try to figure out things with our own mind, that's the time we become worried about things. And Jesus said, do not worry. Do not worry about anything. Do not worry about your food, your clothing. You know, in all of our ways, we should acknowledge Him. Every miracle that you're experiencing right now, every provision that you are experiencing right now, it is because of the goodness of God. We have proven Him faithful throughout the years. We have proven Him good throughout the years. And these are the moments that God is so close to us. These are the moments that God, you know, would, would be willing to show his grace and His mercy upon our lives. So let us trust Him. And through this, we would receive supernatural healing. If you are sick today, receive your supernatural healing. You know, the battle is not just physical. Maybe the reason why you are sick is because you're you're thinking so many things this, this past few days and you've been so wearied and down. You know, Psalms chapter 42 says, Why are you cast down, O my soul? Hope in the Lord. Hope in the Lord. And my prayer is that as you hear this message, that you would be reminded to trust in the Lord with all of your heart and do not lean in your own understanding. What you need to do, what we need to do is to trust God right now. Sometimes we feel that we are sick. Sometimes we feel that, you know, our health is, is not doing okay. But if we continually trust the Lord with all of our heart, you know, and acknowledge Him in all of our ways, I believe that healing will come to us, that we would receive supernatural healing. So I pray that this afternoon that you are encouraged, that this afternoon that the peace that surpasses all understanding, the joy that comes from the, from the presence of God may be upon you. God bless you.